Laying there for like an hour, like prepared me to jump in the water. Yeah, you're like a crocodile. What's up, P Nation? Today we're in Helsinki, Finland, and we're gonna show you how much it costs to explore Helsinki in one day. Let's do it. Euro. So one US dollar is approximately 90 euro cent. Five dollars is approximately 4.45. 10 is approximately nine. 20 is approximately 17. And 90 US dollars is approximately 80 euro. So on to accommodation. So Helsinki is a pretty inexpensive place if you really, really try. However, if you're here in the, the summertime like we are, it can be quite pricey. So this is one of the most expensive Airbnbs we've ever stayed in. It cost us 90 US dollars a night. And for like the United States prices, that's like amazing. Like, oh my gosh, it's under $100, that's great. But when you're traveling abroad, you'll notice that a lot of Airbnbs, a lot of guest houses, Agoda, Booking.com, everything's really, really, really inexpensive. But Helsinki's kind of more on par with United States prices when it comes to accommodation each night. Okay, I also want to say that we ended up spending $90 a night because we had three people, but you can find much cheaper accommodations in Helsinki. Like this one is only $21 a night for an entire apartment. This one is $48 a night for an entire apartment. So Helsinki can be relatively cheap and you can keep your budget if you're really trying to. Okay, now to transportation. So we like to take the trains and buses and boats when we're in cities. So luckily here, they have a pass for all of that. It's six euros a day and it's super easy. But if you want to take a car, like an Uber, it will cost you 10 to 16 euros depending on how much or how far you're trying to go across the city. Speaking of train, here's our train. We're going to the water. made it to the beach area, but before we go, we're gonna get some snacks at the grocery store, so we're about to show you prices of things at the grocery store. A large bag of chips will cost you $2.49. These are some of my favorite crackers in Scandinavia, they're $1.35. A package of Oreos will cost you $1.69. A package of dry roasted peanuts costs $1.45. A Snickers bar will cost you $60. And we don't really sell single bottles of Coke here, so if you want a large, 1.5 liter Coke is probably cost you $2.25. One of my favorite snacks, hummus, will cost you $2.95. This deli meat is really good, it costs $3.29. And if you wanna wash your clothes, a small carton of laundry detergent will cost you $5.29. Okay, got our groceries, and now we are headed to the boat, about to miss it, to the island. It's gonna cost seven to go, I think. I'll let you know in a second. I don't know if we can swim, it's a little chilly. Okay, we walked off the dock and now we're walking up this pathway. This island is called... Halajasari? I think that's how you say it. And it has like <laughs> all these different pathways going all across it. There's a bridge that merges two islands together and there's just rocks all around it that you can lay on and sunbathe. Yeah. And it was really hot when we woke up today in our apartment and then we got here and it's like 15 degrees cooler yeah. Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. I feel like the water's making everything really cold. Yeah, so as I just showed you, it is 16 degrees in the water, Celsius, and I'm just, I really wanna swim, I really wanna swim. So if she gets in, I'm getting in, if I get in, she probably gets in, so. One Someone's of us gotta, gotta get in. Tough. But anyways, back to attractions. Mm -hmm. It took seven euros to get here, and yep. most attractions in the city are below 15 euros to go into, like museums, an opera house. I mean, obviously you'd have to see a show there if you wanted to go in there, but like, things here are a little bit more expensive than other Eastern European towns.
so we <laughs> we were coming up to this like it's like a rock beach just not like like a pebble beach like a rock like it's a slab and we, we saw the sign that says beware of backwash and we were like ew backwash but then we realized it just means like backsplash because it's waves <laughs> we're here in the summertime and it's absolutely gorgeous and the sun is perfectly warming our bodies but in the winter it is not that way and they have a whole sauna out here on this island isn't that cool and after you get out of the sauna you can take a dip in the frigid waters right here This island really does have it all. We just walked through a nudist beach. I was like, Leah, where are we? And she was like, oh, I think, let's this just put the camera the away. Beach. So yeah, <laughs> they have a nude beach. It was so much fun. I was trying to be very polite with my eyes, not to look at anybody. Oh my gosh. I don't think it really matters. Also, is it like, is it offensive to wear clothes at a nudist beach? I we don't so. know. If you know, tell us. Okay, so we just like went down this path and all of a sudden we're in this like rock canyon and there's these weird iron doors with all these chains on them. I have no idea why they have so much chains. This is really interesting. Oh, uh, so this was an old fort and there is another old fort and people are camping here. This place is awesome. Leaving that spot, it was so nice. So nice. I jumped in, it was kind of cold. It was freezing. I don't know, I think you have to lay out in the sun for like an hour before you do it. It's gonna make it a lot easier. <laughs> but now we're going back to the boat, mm -hmm. heading back into Helsinki to show you some prices you can expect for dinner. Okay, so we just finished taking the boat and now we are using our day pass to get on the metro, go underground on the subway, included in our price for free. Yeah, for free. So like we kind of said before, this day ticket, you can buy it at multiple kiosks around the city, but it really is like an all encompassing public transportation card. And you can get it for one day, two days, there's different zones around the city and that will change the price. And you can get on buses, ferries, trains, metros, all of it. Okay, so we're gonna show you some quick prices of what we're thinking about eating for dinner. So some things that we would get would be curry, that's $14. Mind you, this place is on the water. They also have pizzas for 12 euros to 16 euros. Okay, and now we have come to a spot that's a little bit closer to my neighborhood that we're staying in. So right here we have pizzas. You can get a family size for 14 or a personal size for eight. And they have pastas for eight as well and burgers also for eight. Okay, so those are just some restaurant prices in kind of the suburb areas where you would stay. Now, if you go into the Old Town, obviously it would be a much, much more expensive meal. But out here, it's normally 15 euros or less. If you go into the town, there are a couple of buffets that are 20 euros and you can sample a bunch of different food. It just depends on what you're looking for and what your price range is for the city. 
everybody knows though that we're on a budget, so we are making ourselves dinner tonight. And we're stopping at Lidl because... It's our favorite. Yeah, and prices at the restaurants are just a little bit too expensive for us right now, so mm -hmm. today we're gonna eat at home. Okay guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I hope we helped you figure out how much your trip to Helsinki, Finland will be. The city is amazing, especially if you come in the summer. So beautiful. But even if you come in the winter, there is so much to explore here and it's a really unique place here in Scandinavia. It sure is. It's not this one. <laughs>